So Thor Ragnarok. Um, it's probably the f first time I've probably seen maybe ever where I'm completely on defense because of it. Um, I can't really place whether I really like it or I don't like it so much. Um, but, you know, I like it for the same reasons I hate it. So, um, anyways, Thor basically has to go and try to prevent Ragnarok as a... Uh, the uh, queen of the uh, goddess of death, uh, Kate Blanchett, it's uh, freed from her prison, and uh, he's with her coming back. He she's going to signal the Tsar Ragnarok, and while he's trying to prevent that, he gets more or less expelled to uh, the planet Sakar, where in the gladiator match he ends up fighting the Hulk, who's been on there for two years, so he's basically. Come to become a somewhat intelligent being so he can talk and whatever. And uh, basically, this is where most of the mo film stays on Sakaar, with maybe introductions from Kate Blanchett saying, I'm going to do this now or whatever, as I'm taking over Asgard. But it's more oh, Thor is trying to build a team to go and attack uh, Hela and, you know, prevent Ragnarok altogether. So, um, as I stated, um, I like the film and I hate the film because for the pretty much the same reasons like I, from the get go if you can tell from the trailers they're going for a, a vibe for the 1980s movies the side fiction movies but I also I've also seen all of them so most of them are terrible so like and this one this film more than the other ones probably reminded me of the Ice Pirates for some reason I don't know why that's a clunker but it's not to say it's not an enjoyable film, but, like, Thor feels like he's a different character altogether. Like, it just seems like they try to make him more relatable than, you know, the character who's stiff or maybe more regal or more of a warrior-like. But, like, when you say something like, well, uh, that guy over there is a guy I know from work instead of, like, well, I have fought many battles with this man, with this being through uh, armies of robots and aliens or whatever. See? See what I mean? It seems like he's just out, out of character, but that's not to say Chris Helmsworth wasn't good at the role. It just seems a little off to me. Um, Mark Ruffalo does a fantastic job as usual as a Hulk, and as Bruce Banner, who's completely terrified, and he's trying to do whatever he can to never become the Hulk ever again. Because he knows if he slips, he might not come back. Um... Kate Blanchett, though, she you can tell she wants she is enjoying herself. She's having a time of her life, but she seems to be chewing up the scenery like it's a Chinese buffet to me. I might be wrong, but that's kind of the way I see it. Not to say that she is happy as a clam and just going to town on this role, but Mark uh, Carl Urban is kind of wasted. Um, I wanted to see more of him. I wanted to see him not be so much in the background as just a crony to Hela. But what are you going to do? Um, Tessa Thompson was pretty good as the uh, last of the Valkyries who uh, went up against Hela originally and decided to be on the other side, <coughs> the other side of the universe and just, you know, drown her sorrows. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is like Jeff Goldblum times 100 and it's, he just told to probably just go to town and just just go all out. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times watching this movie, I won't say I got lost, but more, there's a lot of things being thrown at you, especially sort of like some of the action scenes on Sakaar, that, you know, just my brain sometimes said, that sounds very overload, or whatever, but whatever. Um, as I said, maybe it's just a little too evocative of nostalgia from the movies of the past. Um, but, you know, it's not that it's a bad movie. Maybe it's just a little too lighthearted for the subject-wise. If your film is basically trying to invent, prevent the end of the world, maybe you shouldn't be telling so many jokes. Especially at the end where a certain event happens and it's more or less played for a laugh one and you should be just more invested in it. But it's not to say the film isn't enjoyable. I'll give it three stars, but I might like it better on a second viewing, or I might not, but 
Anyways, that's uh, my th my thoughts on Thor Ragnarok. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, let's see about doing some more reviews down the line, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, whatever, uh, comment. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, see you next time. If you're still here, why not click here to watch another video while you're at it? Thanks, guys.